All right, welcome back to Got Fuels Model Car Garage. I um, felt like I owed y'all a video on Atlanticon and my awards. Um, just again, last week was just a crazy week. Um, uh, I was just a little bit longer work days. One day when it was nice, I tried to get some yard work done, and um, it just got busy with the DMV a couple times. So. It, I just didn't get much done. I didn't have much video time, but um, so we entered uh, eight kits, um, three, four different categories. Um, this is the '57 Ford sedan gasser. Um, it was in the street rod class. So this kit went directly up against every one of Fred Henry's builds. And when I got a third against Fred Henry, I was tickled to death. I think he got a second in that class. Um, this one, this is the Malibu. This was the converted um, Chevelle uh, Lindbergh kit Chevelle that I converted into a small block Malibu that my dad had. I'd done that for the cancer awareness group build. And um, I put it in the custom class. I probably could have put it in the um, showroom stock. I, I, I don't think there was any anything else in the showroom stock. There was a, another class called box stock. Um, and it placed third. Uh, Considering what this was up against with a guy that had just two completely custom door open full chassis type stuff, you know, it, I can't complain. I was happy. Got a third. I was kind of surprised that, definitely surprised when I realized I had to put this up against Pappy, that it, it, it got what it got. So very happy with the outcome of those two kits. So then we move on. Whoops to the class where I was in um, the hot rod class and the guy that was there helping us said oh I don't know if that's supposed to be there and I was like well it's a foos so foos builds chip foos builds hot rods it's a hot rod <laughs> and we got a second so Y'all know my Foos Cadillac. Um, this is definitely my best paint job, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I will say this. Uh, the guy that won first, um, his, his paint was nowhere near on par with mine. Uh, and I'm not pulling favorites. I'm going to be straight up honest. But he was one of those guys that done a lot of customizing. You know, he had the, he had the chassis. You know, he had a, a scratch built chassis, and you know, all the doors open. So, I get it. But if they looked at a paint. He was there. You could see his his buff marks. You know, there were fine scratches all over it. You know, but hey, I'm happy. I got a second. I don't think there was biased in judging or anything like that going on at this show. I think we were judged quite fairly because then they actually had another group of guys go around and um, do some other judging after the judging. And, and these were done a little different. It wasn't like Jack's Con. Jack's Con was your model was judged against your model itself. It wasn't judged first second and third in the category it was judged is it a bronze build or a silver build or a gold build period these were actually judged against other model cars so for that i can't complain so then we got some stash ads here um, let me start off with this one so i i got another one of these but um Miguel was in my live stream a couple weeks ago and he had pulled up a blender render a blend, uh, blender render and um, that inspired me to build one with 
something with the colors he had going on there I was like oh my god so um, this one of these two kits will be coming up very very soon and then we picked up a going 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 to be uh getting with old Tom quite a bit here cuz uh this will be my first resin body and um I want to get my 32 low or one of my 32 kits I want to get it down low and even know how to do all that so uh, I'm definitely uh going to be cracking that open pretty soon too then they, like I said, I, I bought that from the one guy that had car kits. His prices were a bit, a bit high, but I really wanted to get another one of those kits, and I wanted, I got one more of these two that I already had in my stash, and uh, twenty-five dollars uh, with a kit that's been discontinued. Uh, I felt like was a good deal, being uh, the mold is broke. Whether it's the body mold or what, I don't know, but I know the mold is broke. I remember. Gary over to MC Model Works saying the mold was broke. Um, and I, you know, I told him, I said, I'm looking to find as many of these as I can get. Well, about, I was over somewhere else looking at some kits. And the guy walked up. He said, I found this one. If you want it. And uh, this is the same kit in the original issue box. So it is wrapped new. He had uh, $30 on it and I told him I said I gave you 25 for the other one so he knocked it down to 25 so I'm, I'm happy with with my score very because especially this is still a sealed kit yeah I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, with that so and then I walked down to where they were doing the raffle you got one raffle ticket for coming and I, I kind of want to do one, <laughs> but I've been told, oh my God, you got a terrible kit to do one. So, you know, it, I've been told it, it's a Lindbergh. Um, I've been told it's one of the worst kits you can do for an airplane. But is what I've also been told, it's just not a detailed kit. I said, as long as the kit goes together and I can build it without having to uh, sand everything, every part down and force everything together and they said oh no it'll go together good he said it just don't have detail well, that's fine i don't need detail i just want to i want to try to build a plane at some point in time so now i got a i got a tank i need to build some point in time and i got a plane i need to build at some point in time put kind of get my feet wet in it so that's all we got in this one we thank y'all for watching got fuels motor car garage